Rob, when it comes to planning for a championship like this, the buck stops with you. I mean, how much input do you have with the preparation of the team over the last couple of weeks, for example? You try to get as, as many uh, uh, things together the way we want to have it, especially for the European Championships, because it's really important to get a ticket to London. So we made already a planning in the beginning of the season. And uh, you hope that uh, that uh, riders and owners will uh, respect it also. And I'm, I must say, I'm, I'm a really happy coach in that way, that uh, all the riders, but also the, the owners and sponsors are behind the, the thing. And uh, we could make a really good uh, plan. They should be happy because you've had a terrific season. You've won three Nations Cups. You must come in here with a lot of confidence. Yeah, the confidence is it's, it's good. It's growing during the season. Uh, unfortunately, we had in Rotterdam a little bit of a, of, a, of a cold start in the first round of the Nations Cup, so we gave away the overall. But for the rest, it was a really exciting Nations Cup uh, in Rotterdam, I must say, and it was a good battle especially for those countries who were going to fall out, but also the two uh, countries who were going to win the overall pot, uh, England and, uh, and uh, Germany. So that was good. Uh, yeah, the confidence is here. The horses are in a good shape. Um, they were not in, in Rio. Uh, they did after Rotterdam nothing anymore. We, we trained a little bit and, and we hope it works out good uh, for the coming three days, because that's three days. Eh? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a long stint from here till Sunday. Yeah, this long way and uh, it's good in one way that it's not on, on one day. So tomorrow is the speed class and then uh, Thursday is the first round of the Nations Cup and Friday the second round. So it's over three days and I, I think the horses are in a good shape. During the whole season uh, we were always nearly better in the second round as in the first round. So I hope that says something that the horses are in a good shape, good form, they fit. You wouldn't come here with horses that aren't absolutely 100%. They have to be fit and fresh, obviously, which yours are. But how much percentage would it take away from them this heat? Do you find that uh, some horses can suffer from the heat a little bit? I must say we did uh, a lot of research and a lot of work in uh, when we went to Hong Kong. Okay, that weather is different as this. But I must say I feel... Uh, that the riders have more difficulties with this temperature as the horses. I think the horses feel uh, when it's warm. I always have a feeling that they're feeling looser, uh, more warmed up. Uh, for sure, I think they feel better when, uh, uh, as we, we, we compare the weather from Rotterdam, raining and wind and cold. I think they prefer the weather like this. Horses thrive on heat, don't they, really? Yeah, I, I feel yes, but if you go for your own body, if you have some, some problems, especially you get them when you get a little bit older, then I feel also more loose when it's warm as than when it's cold. Yeah, well, we wish you luck. Let's, uh, let's hope you have a great season, end to the season. Thank you. We do our best.